Hello. When you come on, if you say can say hi, I can check and see if I have comments, if I can read them. How's everyone doing? So if you're watching the replay, you probably want to just, hi Kaylee, or Kelly, Angie. <clears throat> no, this is like kind of, um, you know, with a different coast, kind of a weird time, 730, but you know how it is, crazy mom life. And my day was such a crazy mom life, so. Um, yeah, I'm just going to wait a few minutes to see if anyone else is going to jump on, and then I will just get right into it. Hi, Sarah. Thanks for jumping on, y'all. And you can um, hit a little button down there and invite anyone that you've added to the group. And I'm going to leave the replay up, too. So we've got all that taken care of. Um... Perfect time for you, your East Coast. So, okay, your Eastern time. Me too. It was just like trying to rush. But yeah, I think like right now, um, West Coast is probably like leaving work and everything. So, it's hard to get it to be perfect. <laughs> and then we got Hawaii, which we know we have a lot of people on our team from Hawaii. So, great. Okay, so like I said, if you are watching the replay, you know, fast forward a couple minutes. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um... And just tell you a little bit about myself. First off, I'm I was really honored that um Katie asked me to jump on and do this. Um, sometimes um, you know, it's hard to believe things for yourself and like how things have changed so much. And um, to like kind of envision yourself as maybe like a role model or a story that people can relate to, it still takes me back some time, and I'm super humbled by all of this. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about me and um, my journey with Color Street and then um, basically how um, essentially without sounding corny, it, it changed our entire lives in a short time. Okay, so I'm Brittany Metke Lopez. Um, I live in uh, Columbus, Ohio. Well, a little bit outside of Columbus, Ohio. And um, hi, Anita. And I am an army brat, so we lived all over growing up, but we moved here in about 2003. Um, I'm married. Um, we've been married for, how long? Is that horrible? I believe four years in September. And, but we have four children. Hey, Lindsay. We have four kids. Um, our oldest, she is seven, going on 30. We have a four-year-old, a three-year-old, and a one-year-old. So um, to say that my life, you know, is hectic would be an understatement of the century. Hey, Veronica. Um, so what I say that to tell you, hey, Laura, that um, I'm super busy. I'm super busy. And one of the main things that when people, and, I, and, I was, and I'm a full-time student um, as well. Actually, right now I'm taking a break. Thanks, Paige. Thank you. Right now I'm taking a break because summer, but I am a full-time student. And so I have been through this whole journey. I'm a few classes away from getting my master's in public relations. So let's just add that. Um, and I wasn't a stay-at-home mom until pretty recently. I was working. Um, so my history has been always a restaurant, the restaurant industry. Um, I was a server, a bartender for years, and then I eventually became a service manager. I spent my last 10 years at the same restaurant. And um, I will say that um, as much as I really love that, it took away from what I wanted to be with my family. Um, it just wasn't, you know, the hours, hey, Frida, it wasn't, you know, you have to, especially if you're in any type of management, you have to work on uh, Mother's Day, New Year's Eve, Valentine's Day, nights and weekends. And that, you know, so I felt kind of stuck there um, and I didn't know what to do. So what happened? Well, fast forward, I had a try. my last, thanks, Celia. You guys are so sweet. Um, I had my last child, Coda, and um, my pr last pregnancy with him was pretty rough, 
and uh, he was um, born three weeks early and he was like in the NICU for a week and I know that's not bad compared to some people but for me it was pretty traumatic because I've never had that happen before and it just wasn't what you know expectations expectations lead to huge resentments guys so like try not to have them so my expectation was a perfect last pregnancy and a perfect last birth and of course like it just wasn't I didn't have him in the room and I didn't have all the stuff that I wanted you know with the last um three children so anyways I bring him home and stuff and I just really don't want to go back to work I don't um and I'm trying to think and I had no idea um about like these direct sales companies. I literally had like no, um, like no clue like what they were or how the whole um, structure worked. I know that um, I did always like to support my friends. So like I would, hey Michelle, I would host parties for them, but I didn't know like really about it or what they were doing, um, you know, and I, and I would buy stuff. Like, you know, I like certain products and stuff, but I really didn't understand um, anything really about it. So what happened was it was time for me to go back to work at maternity leave. And um, I saw this one other company. So I say that um, Keller Street was my first direct sales experience, but basically I joined one company and then immediately joined Keller Street. So I joined this one company first because um, I watched all these videos on YouTube and you know, these hey Liz and these women were saying like they were able to stay at home thanks you guys are so sweet and these women were able to stay at home with their kids and that's what I wanted to do and they were able to make some money and like the buy-in was a large investment but you know they told me that it was worth it and stuff so I signed up for this company and um basically I signed up for and I started I got my inventory July 8th for this company and I signed up with Color Street July 21st so brand new the direct sales okay um the thing was, so when I started with Color Street, um, I met Katie and she um, was talking about this product in one, one, a group we were in and was surprised no one had heard of it. And I was like, man, nail polish strips, like I haven't got to have my nails done forever. Like I've had baby after baby after baby. So let me see what she's um, talking about. And you know, she even told me like, it's brand new. It just, it's not even a month old. And I was like, no, like, I just launched this company that seems like it's gonna take so much work, like I really can't deal with anything else. But I got them in the mail and I put them on and I was like, wow, those are pretty cool. And I let them sit, you know, for a couple weeks and then like I took them off so easily and then I put on my other set and like that, I signed up. I signed up for Color Street right after I was launching this company, this other business that you know we spent so much money I got this little kit for $129 hey Andrea and you know she's like what's the worst thing that can happen you love it right so you will have like 10 strips that which you'll use which is it's it's a deal anyways even if you don't go anywhere with it so the kit's an awesome deal um if you love the product at all just get the kit you know what i mean like because that's the worst if you don't do anything at least you have all these strips and you can get a little deal on your own so that's kind of what i thought i was going to do a little bit but i also like she planted the seed that there was an opportunity here but i really didn't understand it because um i had just joined this other company i had no experience with building a team i obviously wasn't going to build a team with this other company i just joined because um, just the tra trajectory of everything. And it was, it was kind of hard for me to like convince someone to spend that much money. So I didn't know anything. I didn't have any, you know, anyone downline, but I did want to, um, she did plant that seed. And I, so I signed up without telling my husband, I have to s tell you guys that because I thought he would kill me because I was spending. So that's the other thing. So I started spending so much time with this other company, um, away so I was home but I still felt like I was away from my children and I it, it was it was getting hard um so that's why I want to say so like I it, it was like kind of heartbreaking because like I promised so much from doing this and I still was it, I could have just been working at the restaurant basically um 
So I started Color Street, I signed up in July, and I didn't like hit the ground running like a lot of other people. I did, you know, do what you're supposed to do. That's, if you join this team, you have great access to amazing trainings. Um, and I was one of Katie's, like, I would think I was her second person. So she really like helped me and um, get my group started. And so I was doing a few nail bars here and there, um, but I was mainly focused. This was like a side hustle, basically. Um, but then I started noticing that I wanted to be able to, you know, with this other job, it felt more like I was missing so much time. And then, so there was kind of a shift in my mentality. Like, you know, I think I had made, I made a mistake. Um, so I'm going to try to make up for this mistake to my family and focus on color street. And that shift kind of happened in October. So I'm telling you these dates to know that, um, off, from July to October, I really didn't recruit or have anyone join my team, um, and I wasn't doing anything like super crazy. I think I hit the first jump start, and that's it, um, because I wasn't working um, the way I could have. So I, you know, I was seeing. So about in October, I finally we had this shift, and I started finally doing everything that the training say, and all of a sudden it just started to work because I was consistent. Um, I was slowly, you know. July to October, nothing. In November, I had my first promotion to um, senior stylist, which is um, of the first rank, which is really exciting. Um, and it was like so awesome because I just never, and I remember thinking and I'm talking to Katie one day on the phone and I'm like, do you really think I could make like $2,000 a month? Like if I make $2,000 a month, man, I could um, leave this other company, you know, without my causing a big issue at my home. So let me tell you, I, I have surpassed that goal, but it seems so impossible. Um, but anything's possible with this company. Yep, anything is possible with this company if you work for it, the opportunities are there. And that's what I'm gonna say. So like from that, you know, promotion in November, the next month it was um, team leader, then I um, have promoted every single month since then and now I am a senior executive director um with and a presidential circle member as of this month and so what that means is um there's only like a handful of us like 26 and we're at the top company and I want to say that um and it was because I had worked like and did everything and I put my whole heart into this and even though I was working so hard I was still able to spend time with my family and I can spend so much more time and it's so much more flexible. So I did quit that business finally, um, I think in end of December, um, you know, and I went out am amicably. It just wasn't what I thought because I wanted, you know, to be with my family and Color Street allows me to do that. But thanks, Katie. Um, but like my income from Color Street also has changed so much for us and um, so much for our whole situation. Um, just being able to live life stress-free um, as far as other bills, but like a big change was um, I had a huge struggle for years with um, depression and just like low self-confidence and um, being severely, you know, obese, overweight. And I had been wanting, and my doctor had suggested a weight loss surgery for a few years, but my insurance um, would not cover it. So one thing um, with my commission from May, just from May, I, no, just from March, I was able to pay 100% cash for that surgery for a gastric sleeve. So I'm about five and a half weeks out from that surgery, which I paid for cash strictly from Color Street Pay. Nothing else. No insurance covered it. It wasn't a copay, 100%. Um, which, you know, it's changed like already. So I'm already debt close, like about 45 pounds down. And so I'm able to like now start to play a little more with my children and I'm so excited. And this is something that when I like really think about it, I can get teary because like it's changed my life. Like literally, like I know you hear people say that so much, but not only, you know, the end, but being able to be healthy and now I can, you know, do more stuff. Like, it's crazy. I'm actually, you know, starting to be able to run and chase after my kids again and not feel like I'm going to die. 
Um, and I'm not sore. Thanks, ladies. And it's just, it's just crazy. Um, another big thing is just being able to give back to people that have helped me um, so much when, because, you know, struggling, <laughs> thanks, you know, struggling financially for years, um, you know, and I'm pretty forthcoming as I do have a history. I, um, I have, uh, in August, I'll have 10 years clean and sober. I am a recovering drug addict. And um, that recovery process has been kind of hard um, with, you know, getting jobs and being able to find rentals because I have this history. And no matter, you know, how hard I have tried and, you know, getting an education and being a mother, you know, and I'm not that person, people still look me, look at that piece of paper and they want to judge me, but listen, Color Street doesn't do that. And with Color Street, I can be, I'm the CEO and I don't have to have someone look at something, you know, I did like 15 years ago and tell me, um, no, Brittany, we can't, you're great. And I had that other job and that, and it was disheartening. That other job when I was in the restaurant, um, I could have been a salary manager. They all wanted me to, the general manager, the district, but corporate lawyers would not. They wouldn't. Um, so I was like working so hard as a slave to this company. And just there's just, I was never going to be able to be anything. And with Color Street, it gave me the opportunity to, to be something and be someone. And um, <laughs> thanks, Amy. And like, it's, there's so many. I could go on forever, seriously. I mean, this is just the beginning, you guys. Um, thanks. Thanks. It will be... Um, one year with Color Street in July, July 21st. So all of this, you know, is, is really a short time and it's changed so much. We're moving to a house. We've lived in this condo for seven years, six of us. We're moving to a house with a yard, you know, there's just so much. Um, <laughs> thanks. And um, it's really because I, you know, worked and did everything I was supposed to. I didn't make excuses and it was hard because like sometimes this can be hard and especially if you're new, it can be overwhelming, but like we have so many resources in our team and um, it, you know, if Katie's your leader, your Katie's going to be your top leader and anyone else, everyone is so supportive here and it's great. Um, you know, I still have questions. I'll go to people and people answer us right away. Um, the home office and corporate let me tell you, I didn't, like I said, I don't know much about direct sales, but I can compare like these two and like home office totally listens to what we have to say. They care. Um, they understand how different um, choices can affect us. And that is just something if you've ever worked in any job, like not even direct sales, you can tell like usually they're mostly about the bottom line, but our home office cares about the field and the stylist and you know, the choices and decisions that they make are going to affect us, you know, no matter who the brand new stylist, you know, to uh, the very top. And I love that. Yeah. And definitely like, even if you're not on, you know, getting on my team, definitely friend request me. I always, you know, love help a answering questions and stuff like that. So, and I'm going to go ahead and open up for um, questions. If you guys have any questions for me about, you know, joining, and what it takes and stuff, you guys. It's such a great time. It's gonna be a year old next week, so I would definitely not wait. It's my favorite part when I answer questions and it's like, the delay and you're sitting here like, okay. I'm telling you, and this company is just so new still, and we're expanding, and you want to jump in. How did I get so fly? Okay, so my biggest change that took once I jumped, that's kind of what Liz and Anita's question is. So my biggest change was I um, started being consistent. Um, so here's the thing. 
we sometimes as humans we want to like take breaks if things aren't Okay, and I'll answer that one next, Carrie. Sometimes we wanna take breaks if things aren't immediately going our way and it's just not gonna do that. So like when I started, my pitch, okay, I see these. So when I first get it started, I um, started working the business. I had to make a schedule to make sure I followed it every day, no matter what, like kind of like non-negotiables that I'm gonna do, which I am going to have this so, so many nail bars a month, no matter what. And, um, and of course, you know, things tweak over time. I'm gonna post in my VIP two times no matter what. I'm going to, and this is like, and, and it just started t um, tweaking like what I posted on my wall. So, and this kind of goes with like, as far as like recruiting and stuff, like, and you know, everyone's different. So I'm just gonna say what worked for me, but I have never ever got anyone to join my team by like posting, very generic stuff on my wall or I've never got anyone to make a purchase so kind of changing that mindset and I started practicing attract uh, attraction marketing which you can look up um, I'm really a big fan of that so if what I would started posting is um, kind of you know intriguing people a little bit like what am I doing and not being like 129 10 strips blah 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 no one's ever joined my team and I believe me I used to post that like a spam bot like my page was like an infomercial for color street and it just didn't work for me so what I started doing more is what would work for me is um you know getting more personal and meeting more people and expanding my network so I started having people come to me um so I'm gonna say like two and it took with me being consistent, like a, a few, you know, posts here and there. Like, um, I think one of the ones like in the beginning was I was able to pay for my daughter's dance class um, with Color Street. And like someone messaged me from that. Like I just took a cute picture and I was like, yeah, you know, it's payday. And, you know, instead of like, just like, it, what I've learned is like people respond more when I'm like more personal about it and they can relate to it a little bit more. Um, and you know, it's, it was such a learning curve for me, but you know, it's just like, why isn't this working? Um, and then to like personally talking to people, um, I try like every day to like comment on five people statuses that I don't normally talk to or private message people, happy birthdays and stuff like that. So then you can like meet just, it's about really about expanding your network that way organically. And I think I really did it in an organic way. Um, I have right now on my team, I have a lot of great leaders. Um, two of my E1s are executives. And I'm gonna say, um, one I did approach in the beginning and she told me no. I approached her in July. Um, she came to me in October and signed up. And then um, another one of my executives, she messaged me from seeing my post. I never would have thought to message her because she was so, you know, she was just like, seemed so busy and so huge with this other company. She messaged me and she's like, hey, I see your post, uh, you know, about how you're doing with Color Street. Can you tell me a little more about it? So I'm going to say like two of my biggest earners, I didn't even go to when they signed. They just saw what I was talking about. And I never stopped because there are gonna be, you know, slower times, but you just keep it. And that was my biggest thing um, as far as that goes. Let me scroll down a little bit. So I... So Jen and Aaron, I hope I answered that question. So it's really about like, um, when people see how it's really working for you and it's, it's a true and like honest and they trust you, that's my pitch. Like, listen, like this can help you. This is what it's done for me. Um, as far as the question, like how did it take, how long it took for me to start making money? So like, because I wasn't really working, you know, like I should have, I probably, you know, it took a few months, but I will say like, the money that is can be made it exceeded anything, exceeded anything. Um, so I wanted just two thousand dollars a month, and I'm saying just, but I know that's a lot. Um, but that's what I needed to be able to replace my other income. And you know, like I told you, I exceeded that, and now um, I'm a five figure monthly earner. Never in my life would I thought that would be possible. And so, and I've been doing this for about eleven months. So if that kind of helps. Um, 
and I'm kind of, you know, a little slower. <laughs> That's what I always tell people. Like, no, like, it doesn't happen. People that are doing it overnight, like, I think they're aliens. <laughs> Me, I'm slower. I'm slow. I'm a marathon, you know, slow and steady wins the race kind of person. So, that is um, as far as the money. But it's so worth it. And, you know, in any business, if you go, and, like, for $129, best investment ever, but any business, you um, are going to have to invest in it. You have to invest in it. Hey, Sheena. It's like old times. Um, and so I did know, like, investing in um, my business, investing in my team, um, as far as time and even f um, financials, like, that helps, you know. And it's, and it's proven to work out that way. I know, I need to start doing lives again more. Forgot how much I love it. Anyone else has any questions? Like I said, if you think of them later, you can feel free to private message me. You all are awesome. I'm telling you, best investment ever. The company's still booming. It's just the beginning. You think of some of those other companies out there. Like I think I read a couple months ago, a makeup company, you know, got 1 million people. We're not even close. 6,000 active stylists this month. 6,000. The world is our oyster. We're going to, you know, we're going international. Like, seriously. Reach out to who added you in this group if you have any questions. But I'm telling you, don't wait. Time is now, people. My biggest regret is waiting two months or two weeks to join. That's what I always say. All right, everyone. You have a great evening, and, you know, I'll chat with you soon.